people trying to make a pass, so I'm an innocent. Got the dog up in the club, I ain't bring a pet. <laughs> My name's Fans, Cornell Brewer in the house with the Instinct Podcast Show, back again. And today I'm, I am previewing the tomorrow's match for us, Lincoln City versus the Bristol Rovers. Before we get into the video, please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. Who do you think will start? Who do you think this, the, the score is going to be? And and stuff like that. So before we get... So let's get into the video and let's do this. Back again. So we, Lincoln City, are taking on the mighty Bristol Rovers tomorrow. Um, the last time we played against Bristol Rovers was last year in the first half of the season where we lost 2-1. Um, despite Lee, despite equalising through none other than Luis Montsema and then Hallen got the goal to um, win the game at the LNER Stadium. But we go to their ground tomorrow away and this game is kicking off um, earlier than expected at half past 12 um, as, 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 as reinsured. Um, so for me, this is a game where I do believe that I, I know we, that we, we will go there and we will put a good performance bring that that positive performance from the MK Dons to the Bristol Rovers game, despite that they've got a brand new manager, of course, Joe Barton, after he left um, Fleetwood Town to go and manage Bristol Rovers. Um, I mean, obviously, they've been in good form, but they've dipped a little bit since since um, Joe Barton has been in, in um, as manager for Bristol Rovers. And obviously, yes, they've got some very good, fantastic players who can cause problems on the wing and who can cause problems up front as well and including their defence. But, I mean, it'll be very interesting to see, despite that, you know, he's going to use the substitutes more and, and and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, we still don't know how 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 bad um, Joe Walsh is and Jones and Jackson, fingers crossed, they'll pull through. But, you know, obviously, you know, it might be um, a little bit of a blip, but we'll find out come tomorrow. Um, what's my take on it? I mean, for me, this is a... I wouldn't say it's a tougher game than I expected. I mean, the whole game next week will be tougher. But this one should be relevant for us to go on and, and really get the three points, which I believe we will. Um, and obviously, you know, go into that game with no fear. We go there with confidence. We go with desire. We go with passion. And we go with willingness to win. Because we are Lincoln City Football Club who fears nothing this season. And we will go all the way this season with, you know, with seven games to go right now. Going into, um, you know, into the season um, very, very soon. Um, for me, it's it's a little different than how, how I expected. But I definitely am confident that we, Lincoln City, will, go, will, will definitely win and get the three points. And then we'll be coming for the whole city next week which will be a tougher game. So for me, um, who do I think will start? I mean, I mean, obviously, we don't know who Appleton's going to put out. He'll, he, he could play the same team again. Who knows? But I think he should change it a bit more. So, for example, I mean, for me, in goal, it's going to be Palmer for me. Um, Regan Paul at right back. Um, Monsumer, uh, not Monsumer, sorry. Um, Walsh and Jackson at the back. And um, Bramwell on the left because you need Bramwell's rapid pace to go forward. Um, although we don't want to overdo it too much with Joe Walsh. Um, and then the midfield for me is going to be Eden, McGrandles and probably again Brennan Johnson in that, mid in, that in that midfield. But I'd like to see Callum Morton in that midfield as well because he can play also play midfield. And then play, you know, um, Brennan Johnson on the left, Morgan on the right, um, of course. And then obviously play... Um, Anthony Scully up front because Anthony Scully needs to be playing more often because he's showing what he can do. Yeah, he was a bit quiet against MK Dons, but that doesn't really matter. The most important thing is the performance um, that the players put in and show how good they can be and they're playing for the shirt, which I know, obviously, they will be playing for the shirt, obviously. So, I mean, if we could put a good performance like that, especially Morgan Rogers and Brennan Johnson, a.k.a. Brennan right a boss man Bernie Ting Johnson and Morgan boss man Rogers can put on that, that performance that they did against the MK where they teared the MK dons to shreds and beat up the MK. Then we could do the same thing to Bristol Rovers. Not too overconfident, but trust me, I believe so much because I'm confident that I'm confident that we Lincoln City can go on and cause the upset against them tomorrow in League One tomorrow 
and still be fourth and or better be third. We don't know yet because depending on what results go, how results go in the game. But for me, the prediction scoreline for tomorrow's game is between two. Um, it's I'm going to go for two nil Lincoln or two one Lincoln Lincoln because there will be a lot of goals. There could be a lot of goals into it. Uh, first top first first goal scorers for me is going to be Brennan. It's going to be Johnson and Rogers for me, or even better Scully for me because um, they're going to tear that Bristol Rovers to shreds. Um, but it's going to be the three points for the mighty Lincoln. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also as well, leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts about tomorrow's game and also about the um, the lineup and who you think and what the score is going to be. I'm very interested to hear what you guys say. Thank you to the 165 subscribers who have, who have subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video. Up the imps, back again.